Hi guys, um, welcome to my first ever YouTube club. Um, this has been done alongside Genevieve Robillard, and I'm really sorry if I've just mispronounced your name. Um, but I was super excited when Genevieve agreed to do this. So, whilst we were talking, um, she mentioned that she's been on a bit of a, a still life kick recently. Um, this brought on her suggestion that we both use the same still life reference but produce pictures in our own styles using mediums that we consider to be our strength. Um, this actually worked out really well because my preferred mediums are markers and pencils, whereas hers are watercolour and gouache. So apart from our initial test sketches, we haven't seen any part of each other's final pieces, so I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to watching Genevieve's video, it's, it's going to be a bit of a surprise and uh, it'll be nice to see her take on the picture compared to mine. Um, I'll leave a link to Genevieve's video in the description below as soon as I have it, so please go and check out her channel. She uploads vlogs alongside her art videos, which I actually think is a really nice mixture to have. As for my approach to this drawing, it, it took me quite a while to get the hang of it. Um, I don't think I've done still life drawing in about 13 years maybe. Um, so I did a couple of test pieces beforehand to make sure that I was at least sketching out the basic shapes okay. Um, when Genevieve first suggested to, uh, a still life drawing, <laughs> My initial reaction was, uh oh, this is going to look bad. Um, but, but then it sort of dawned on me that this was a perfect chance for me to push outside of my comfort zone and try something that I probably wouldn't have otherwise thought of to try. And I'm actually really glad that we've done this because I'm super happy with the end result. It's, it's not as realistic as it could be, but I kind of like that it's sort of at least semi-realistic. Um, personally my favourite part of the picture is the pear but that's probably because greens are one of the easiest colour groups for, for me to, to work with. Um, as you've already seen I did the whole base layer with Copic markers and I did this to block out any of the white paper from behind the picture and I chose to use my A5 media uh, mixed media pad for this so that um, I didn't get scared of doing a larger picture. Usually I'd try to create some colour blends with Copics but I was really struggling with the reds in my test pieces so I thought it better to abandon that idea. Um, so instead I chose to layer up the colours with my Faber Castell pencils um, with a white Prisma colour for the highlights, and then I sort of blended each layer in between using a small paintbrush and some low odour thinner, which I think is by Dale Lowney. Um, it, it works for me, it just sort of it's a way of pushing the colour around the page. Um, typically, my well, I wouldn't say I have style. But something that I usually do is uh, to outline in my black uni pin pens. But whilst we were talking, Genevieve showed me a painting that she'd done with a lineless effect and it really inspired me to try it myself. And I'm really glad that I did because I think that if I'd done black outlines it probably would have ruined the piece and made it look a bit heavy, if that makes any sense. And I think this piece ended up taking me around three hours, and then I just sort of I got to a point where I just went, mm, eh, that, that looks okay. Uh, <laughs> so I don't really have much else to say for this video. I hope this voiceover was a bit less rambly than my last attempt. I sort of have a little bit of a script written up to, to help me get a bit better and keep my thoughts a little bit more organised. So um, thank you for watching, again please go check out Genevieve's channel and say hi from me. Her link will be in the description below along with my other social media pages if you'd like to say hello on that. If you're new here please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to help my channel out, I'd really appreciate it and I look forward to being part of a growing community on here. 
If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, please make sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. Um, so for now then guys, thanks again, I'll be back soon and um, bye!